What's up guys, it's Troy from Rustero Toyota and today we have a quick little video for you regarding drive modes in most of our vehicles. Most of our vehicles will have the ability to change between sport, eco, normal mode, and in other cases it will have some other cool modes that we'll go over. Today we're looking at a RAV4 Adventurer, or Adventure, sorry, <laughs> um, and this thing is sweet, it's a used, it's one of our Toyota certified and we're gonna go over the drive modes of the Toyota RAV4 Adventure, but also just what RAV4 in general. As stated previously, this is a 2020 RAV4 Adventure, and this thing is sweet! As for the drive modes, the three most common ones that are in most Toyotas are normal, which is just basically your everyday driving materials, just daily driver type situations. Then eco and then sport. We'll go into a little bit of details about those here in a second. But this also being the RAV4 Adventure does have a mud and sand, rock and dirt, and snow option as well. And we'll go over those as well. So normal is going to be <clears throat> your basic everyday driving type situation with the... Um, like data driver type stuff the vehicle does it works as it was originally designed uh factory defaults if you will the sport mode is designed to tighten everything up so for an example the pedal the gas pedal the amount of effort you need to put into pushing the gas pedal to get it to go faster or to re get the engine rpms up is actually smaller so less push equals more power. Um, and so there were, that's another cool thing. It also tightens up your steering so that you can go into tighter turns, stuff like that. While the end result of speed, total speed is uh, not different from normal to sport, the sport mode will just get up to speed quicker and make the vehicle feel as if it is quicker than a normal, than a normal mode. And then Eco does the complete opposite. It makes it so that you, to get more power out of the vehicle, you actually have to push down harder on the gas pedal because it's, it's taking power away from the engine and relying more on, um, you know, power and stuff, or less power to give you better gas mileage. And then the snow mode. We'll go right away to the snow. The snow mode is doing exactly what you think it is. It's telling the all-wheel drive system of the vehicle to be engaged a lot more often so that you are driving safer when there is snow. And then there's mud and sand and rock and dirt. And the vehicle is going to, when you select one of those, so mud and sand is going to be a little bit more... It's going to slow a vehicle down because there's more stickiness in the, the material you're driving through. Whereas rock and dirt is harder um, and there's going to be more, I guess, more traction than in mud and sand. But also it's going to be harder. So you don't need as much. It changes basically like your suspension and steering and how much the, the wheels will slip. All that is changed depending on what mode you're in there. All right, guys. Well, that was a quick little explanation of what the drive modes of a Toyota are, and specifically the 2020 Toyota RAV4 Adventure. If you guys want to come in and take a look at the RAV4 Adventure, or have questions about the drive modes, or anything related to any Toyotas or any of our used cars we have in the lot, feel free to give us a call at 262-334-9411. My name is Troy from Restart Toyota. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'm glad the storms are over. By the time you even see this, it'll be, the storms would not be existing. Uh, but no, uh, all in all, have a great day, guys, and we'll see you on the next one.